China has been working on a blockchain-based service network since 2019 as part of its global tech battle with the U.S. The platform was launched in 2020, aiming to facilitate the deployment of multi-blockchain technology for a cross-cloud, cross-portal, and cross-framework global public infrastructure network. Blockchain is a code system which maintains information of data across several computers linked in a peer-to-peer -peer network, making it close to impossible to hack. The technology establishes the ground for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The general USB of blockchain technology is that it is decentralized without any single entity owning or running it. China's development of blockchain ecosystems comes on its own terms, allowing for different regulatory approaches in various jurisdictions. It claims to offer interoperability and deployment of different blockchain technology with added security while also significantly saving time and cost for users. The BSN takes on the consortium approach towards blockchain technology, meaning more than one entity regulates rights and privileges. It incorporates permissionless public blockchain technology, which is non-restrictive and accessible to anyone with internet, with permissioned technology that provides more security in cases where public access to information needs to be restricted and not anonymous. China's BSN will keep its international version open source, partnering and relying on cloud services of Google Cloud and Amazon Web Services data centers. Domestic users would have centralized access, which relies on public city nodes provided by local data centers and cloud resource providers on the BSN. Both networks would be physically separated. Blockchain-based cryptocurrencies are banned in China. Hence, all online transactions would be made in fiat currency like the Chinese yuan that could result in a lack of appeal for crypto enthusiasts around the world. The privacy and data security implications of using BSN are not fully known yet, and it has drawn skepticism from many countries over the involvement of Chinese-backed firms. Some experts also consider using and working with the BSN as supporting the Chinese Communist Party.